Hello, and welcome to an update in the fresh air. Hello, and first of all, a great big thank you to all those uh, who made suggestions about my uh, What's On feature. I'm, I've, I've read them all. And um, one big thing I think is I'm going to have to rename it because apparently Americans don't quite understand the phrase what's on in the same way that I do uh, and most British people do. So uh, that's one thing that's going to have to change, but it looks like it's going to be a success. A surprise success was my video about German place names, which I didn't expect to be quite so popular as it was. Um, it was just something that I threw together in a, a few spare moments. Uh, thank you to everybody who uh, suggested some place names that I could put in my next video, uh, which I may or may not film, I don't know. Although, when somebody with a name like Stoiber 88 suggests uh, this, I have a sneaking suspicion that if I try to pronounce it as it's written, it might be a trap and I'll just end up looking like an idiot. So if somebody can help me out with that, I'd be very grateful. Some of you may have noticed that the video that I had up about monetization um, disappeared for a couple of weeks. This is because I received a, or rather YouTube received, a copyright infringement complaint against it. Uh, it was actually an unfounded complaint, but yet you know, these things take about two weeks to clear up, but it has been cleared up, the video has been restored. Um, it's a real pain, but unfortunately that's how the system works. So the village that I live in and that I'm sitting in the middle of right now is on the edge of some uh, wooded hills, an area called the Spessart. One of the theories about where the name Spessart comes from has to do with woodpeckers, German Specht. And uh, so we get quite a lot of woodpeckers around here. This, for example, is a European green woodpecker, and this is a domestic cat. Uh, it's our Bonnie, in fact, uh, who has been known to bite off more than she can chew. But luckily, um, the woodpecker saw the danger and made a quick escape. So thankfully, we didn't have to deal with that. So that's it from me for this video. See you in the next one.